I just got done watching an episode of Doctor Who. The most recent episode of Doctor Who, which I was mistakenly believing would be the 60th anniversary. It is Sunday, October 23rd, 2020, which means next year is the 60th anniversary. I missed some math in my own head. But I enjoyed it. And I, I was pleasantly surprised, especially once I realized it wasn't the 60th anniversary, which was like, I started really only knowing after I finished the episode. But I was pleasantly surprised in the episode, especially having seen, oh, just, ah, uh, I got to see two new episodes because somehow I missed the one that came out in spring. I wish that they would have more episodes per season so I could actually, like, know what was going on. This is one of my favorite comfort shows and I have watched it what feels like my whole life, not actually my whole life. I definitely um, came into it when it was still on Netflix so a while ago, but um, at least a decade ago, because I watched the 50th anniversary in like a slumber par party <laughs> that I set up, I think. I don't know. I don't remember, but it was amazing. It was awesome. And I love that show. I just, it's, and I'm so impressed when shows like get stronger through issues with like fans not enjoying certain aspects or the writing being issued. But this is more just me chatting about how much I like my comfort show. It's a a chronicle of how much I enjoyed today's iteration of Doctor Who. I was not ex spoilers. I was not expecting David Tennant. Like I knew that he was going to be on the show, but at that point in the episode, when you get all the way to the end of an episode, I was expecting to see the new Doctor, um, which sadly was spoiled for me. I also had Jodie Whittaker's introduction spoiled for me before I got to see the show because I like to go in not knowing who the next actor is going to be. Um, as especially I get more, especially as I get more, especially, especially, especially as I get more familiar with many actors than because I had seen Jodie Whittaker in things before this, but I wasn't like aware of her. I just wish that I had gotten to have that shock moment. I still, it wasn't anyways, but today I watched the sea devil episode. Um, I, and I knew, I knew that Yaz was still on the show. I knew that Dan was still like, I, the thing's fresh in my mind because I hadn't, hadn't watched anything, um, recently. Uh, but I kind of forgot what happened with Dan. So then him like leaving wasn't exactly a shock, was just sort of weird. Cause I was like, oh, he was on for a really, really short time. But I guess that's what happens when you have so few episodes I want more. I should get into all of the like audiobooks and books and I just want to know everything that happens to all these characters. But that's that not realistic. I'm just going to continue watching the show and enjoying the show and occasionally reading a little fanfic or something. I don't know. But um I don't read fanfic anymore. Weird. <sighs> Dan and Yaz. I was almost expecting Ryan and and Graham. And so it was really cool to see Graham and like have the mention of Ryan. It was cute. It was cute. But and I'm not the most familiar with the original series. Like, I've done my research. Not recently, so I don't remember anything. But I, I knew... the. C I was immediately aware. I was like, oh, these were probably companions just with the way that they set that scene up. So I appreciate sh that they did that to introduce... Um, I'm already blanking on her name. But Ace and the other one... The other companion from the original series. Don't remember her name. Mm, so sorry. I liked both of them. But Ace is more memorable in a couple ways. But just just having them on the show was, like, nice. But I also, because I don't have the tie to that, and I liked that they did that, that was great. But I had an inkling. I had heard something about David Tennant being on the show. And I had even seen um, Billy Piper. I kept wanting to say Rose Tyler and, and Billy Piper, and I couldn't remember which was the character name. Great job great just she's such a good actress I like her but I saw her and um the 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 Jackie Tyler they did the audio thing recently so I saw a YouTube video of them and I was like oh does that mean they're gonna be on the show I don't know I I try not to spoil things for myself so I I didn't look into that or anything so I was almost hoping I was hoping I wasn't expecting that they, they would be on the show but I was kind of expecting David Tennant and uh when I got like 95% through the episode. I was like, oh, I guess, I guess that's not happening. I want Jet more Captain Jack too. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Torchwood stan. I even watched, um, Sarah Jane 
and Friends. I I don't remember what the title of that show was, but that spinoff, and I enjoyed that spinoff. But I'm a, I'm a Torchwood girl. I've also, I, I'm, a, I'm a class kid. I'm a class boy. I, that's, oh, yes. Just, I wish that there were more, that was, looked, it was so interesting. And it was weird that they didn't have the doctor on more. And I also would have loved to see the dynamic of um, Jody's doctor. I don't call the doctors by numbers anymore. Weird. But 10, 10 is going to be on again. I, there has to be more because he's, I was, I was, ah. <sighs> I was expecting the the new doctor, which I'm extremely excited for. I did I did have it spoiled for me who it was going to be, but I haven't looked into who the actor is, and I don't remember the name. I just remember the photo, so I'm excited. But <sighs> it's nice to have ten. Ten is my original doctor because I think that's definitely where I started the show. Yeah, I saw a few episodes of his. I might have seen Kill Hitler first, but that was like in at Thanksgiving or Christmas on someone's TV while we were doing things and I got enthralled but I I remember the corn maze and and Mel oh, Mel I miss River Song I miss, miss Alex King King Kingston that was a lot but it's such a good show and I'm so excited that it's kind of ramping back up because there were some issues I I like all of the standalone episodes that have been done recently and I get that like I, I get why certain people haven't liked them or haven't been as into it, but I, I've enjoyed them. I miss the, like, overarching plot lines that, like, all me mesh in together, even though some of, like, Russell T. Davies um, and that Moffat and stuff that ugh, killing people. Ugh. But I they were standalones, like, the, the, the first many seasons that they were involved with the episodes would be standalones but then they would have like just so much story and I felt like some of that's been missing it's been more like an action fighting chaosness and you don't get to know the characters as well which I was I was really excited like I I feel like we barely got to know like Ryan and Graham and Yaz as a group also was I the only one that was like getting vibes of like that Ryan and Yaz were being set up to be a thing originally. I don't know. I'm into the, like, Yaz doctor cuteness. But it was also a little bit weird, like, we've had him be married. We've had, like, ro romances. I totally thought they were going to kiss when she, like, left Yaz. So that was, that was a little disappointing. I get it. I'm all for... for adding flair and representation into the show but that felt a little like odd to me I don't know exactly how to explain it I, I I'm not saying I didn't enjoy it it was just and it wasn't out of place either I was like oh cool this is happening but it was just sort of like random but again there's so few episodes now and I really appreciated that this was a longer form well, it was a special but I just I miss having many episodes I was having so many episodes to get to know the character and I hope this show continues. I, it's just, it really is one of my favorite shows. And I forget, it's also affected me so much. Like, I've grown up with this show, kind of. And I, and so many people have. But, like, this is, it's literally, that TARDIS blue, it's not actually really TARDIS. It's kind of TARDIS, but it's, it's metallic and it's pretty it's shiny. I, like, that's probably because of Doctor Who. Like, I've not thought of that really before. It wasn't really my intention. Blue has most of my life been my favorite color but before this this was a bright like neon version of this light blue very 2012 that's so pointless but I've missed Doctor Who so much and it's very it's definitely my like most comforting comfort show but to have 10 on I'm still curious I want Jenny back I want the doctor's daughter like put finish that story somewhere that would have been such a good spinoff I just and also I looked at that there's only going to be three episodes for like the next season I'm I'm not for that I miss like 10 they don't all have to be great but then you get like so much more story and I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss Jody's doctor She's 13, right? Yeah. Such a good show. <laughs> and 
she's great. And I kind of wish that she had, I don't know, more dynamic, right? Cause I, don't get me wrong. I actually didn't dislike her writing. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a hater. Like some people, no, you can have your own opinions, but I, I felt like there was a lot more that they could have done with the first female doctor. I also love the, I don't know what we call her, but the African queen doctor, like she's killing it with the shades and she was the hologram. I just, mm, I love tie-ins. So the hologram and the like seeing the old faces. Oh yes. I, I CGI best, like number one, top tier, God tier, having the original doctor's face. Like, yes. Also, I'm not, as I said, not the most familiar with the original series. I know that the other doctors are the other doctors and they've like, I think some of them are the, the, the actual actors. I haven't looked it up, but like, if it's CGI, chef kiss. It's, if it's the actual actor, like, big hug. Just yes. Like, I was... That made me happy. I sort of missed that they didn't have the newer doctors, that there was, like, a distinct... But I can understand the distinguish, like, the line of, like, these are the, the doctors before the doctor of war, kind of. But then we had that whole plot with her as a kid and been, like, the doctors actually had so many ready generations... That was a cool storyline, but kind of chaotic, and now it's almost, it kind of feels forgotten, but such a good show. Such a good show! Yeah. I'm gonna continue watching, and I, it really felt, it felt a little bit like a redemption, because there's bits that I haven't been, I was not, in, I liked the episodes, the Sea Devils, I also just got to watch that tonight, because for some reason I missed it, I was, I was busy last spring, but the the actual adversaries like their faces I know they were from the original uh series and I looked that up they were so much like more convincing in the original series whatever prosthetic situation they had going on maybe it was the lighting but there was just something that was not it for me but I put that to the back of my mind and I, I did really enjoy the episode. I, I quite like a lot of the historical ones, I think. I could be lying to you, but I got to watch two new Doctor Who episodes tonight. I'm really going to miss Jodie Whittaker. I hope she comes back as like little special things. I'm so excited to see whatever David Tennant is doing. He just loves the show so much and it shows in his character and I just... <sighs> and now I have to wait a couple months for the new next one. I'm probably going to go watch reruns of Doctor Who and maybe finish the knitting I've been doing. So, <laughs> yay. I almost finished that during the, the commercials. So I'm proud of myself. I was productive and I got to watch my, it truly is my favorite show, I think. I have quite a few shows that I will continue to appreciate and have appreciated for a long time. And some might say I love them, but uh, it's top three shows but probably my absolute favorite especially right now I had a minute where I was not loving not loving it but it's still so good especially as a whole like if you think of it so yeah mm, Doctor 